Hello friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial we will continue with the ceiling cover model and uh, this is a tutorial which was uh, requested by one of my subscribers and this third part of this tutorial is the uh, interesting part and that's about creating our uh, linking formulas and that's where uh, my subscriber had, had uh, a doubt like how to create formulas and how to link it All right. Now the first thing you have to do is uh, to see what are the dimensions that require um, parameters or formulas. So as we have created them, that they are the outer circle, the inner circle, the whole. I think the whole also need uh, the formula assistance and even the circular pattern uh, the edge fillet I think almost everything now okay let's let's start creating formula let's go back here and see the first rule that is all in Katia do not uh, utilize bodies boolean operation okay we haven't utilized them now create a user parameter that will control the number of slots okay let's do this first that will control the slots 16 18 and 20 number of slots okay now let's uh, click on the formula button and go for a new parameter type of integer because we are going to create number of slots so our input should be an integer it, it need not be a length so just go for integer new parameter of uh, type integer click on ok now the moment uh, we have uh, clicked on ok a parameter will be created here a parameter tree will be added here and you have the uh, parameter here now let's just uh, rename that parameter as uh, number of slots and let's add the value f as uh, 16 okay another thing that you have to notice here is they have specified 16 18 and 20 as the allowable uh, input values for the number of slots so in this case you have a better option just delete it go for a new parameter of type and in here select integer as I've done before and go for multiple values new parameter of type and here you can type down the values that were specified in the uh, PDF or uh, whatever let's go for 16 18 and 20 mm I think they were the inputs click on OK and let's go back and check if I have entered the right values so they are 16 18 and 20 that's right now if you just double click you can see that you have you can you know toggle between the values as it was specified in the uh, PDF I'll just uh, rename this as the number of slots as I've done before so let's just give a save once all right now create a user parameter that controls the major diameter of cover dim one so the major diameter should be linked with dim one so let's go for new parameter new parameter of type in this case it should be a length new parameter of type and let's rename it as uh, dim1 and for my understanding I will give outer dial now let's give the outer dial what was the outer dial 12 just give it as 12 and go inside the sketch and let's quickly link that 12 to this so this is the outer dia in this case and there is one more thing that I wanted to tell you if you try to give diameter here and then try to create a formula it will not be appearing you don't have an option for formula so always change it to radius 
and then apply a formula and then just make sure that you are giving divided by 2 and you get the uh, proper value. Autodia divided by 2 gives you 6 and now the outer dia of the fan cover is being driven by the dim outer dia parameter which I have created right now. Now let's go back to the question and as you can see we have already done this and we have done this and we have done this as well. So as I have, uh, as we have created a parameter for, oh, I have just said that we have done this, but we haven't fully done this particular part. Let's do that. So that is uh, the number of slots. I know it must be a little confusing for you, but at the end of the tutorial, I'll make sure that uh, the concept is fully understood for you. Okay, so we have created a number of slots here. So as we have seen in the question, the number of slots should be controlled by a parameter, right? So the number of slots is here and the circular pattern is here. Let's exit the sketch and click on the circular pattern and in here go for edit formula and then specify the number of slots here and click on OK and OK. Now you can see that uh, this particular portion is fully done. So to demonstrate that just click and change it to 18 click on OK and the number of slots is changing. So for the time being let's just keep it as 16. Now if you read the question once again this is done, this is done. Create user parameter that controls the major diameter of the cover is done. Okay, now create a formula that makes dim 3 always 1 by 4 of dim 1. So what is dim 3? Let's just have a look. Dim 3 is the pad, the pad value. So what did they say? The pad value should be always 1 by 4 of outer diameter. So the pad value must be always 1 by 4 of outer diameter. So just give 1 by 4. That is 1 by 4. Just click on OK and you can see 3, milli 3 meter which was the input before and now it's been driven by the formula. Now even if I change the outer diameter value this uh, the pad value is going to change because this one and this one is related now. Now let's get back to the question once again. We have done this. Create a formula that makes dimension 2 always 1 by 3 of dim 1. Dimension 2 always 1 by 3. So dim 2. What is dim 2? Dim 2 is the inner diameter. Inner diameter. So the inner diameter is 1 by 3 of outer diameter. So the inner diameter. The inner diameter. is always 1 by 3 so let's give 1 by 3 of outer diameter now whatever we get is the diameter value now again we have to divide it by 2 to get the radius if I click on OK, you get the two value here. Now click on OK. If you haven't understood this, I will explain it once again. That is, the inner diameter in the question, uh, the inner diameter, dim 2 is the inner diameter, is always 1 by 3 of outer diameter. 
so this is the outer diameter 1 by 3 so we get a value which is which is good for the diameter value now once we divide it by 2 it becomes a value which is good for radius that's how it works now we have uh, also completed this particular portion of the question now what remains is these three values so whole diameter will always be 10% of dim 1 so let's just uh, look at these three points in our next tutorial so I hope you enjoyed if you have any doubts in this particular tutorial you can comment below the video and I will get back to you but I'm sure that uh, if you go through the video once again I'm sure that you uh, if you are a beginner you must be having some uh, doubts regarding uh, how or regarding that radius diameter thing so it's, it's pretty easy if you just uh, spend some two or three minutes time uh, you'll be surely getting that so I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for the next tutorial thank you so much for watching